Neighborhood probability is a way to find the probability of occurrence for a discrete event over a limited search radius. This approach can help reduce problems due to local terrain influences, isolated convection, localized heavy rainfall, and other events that may be washed out on other displays of ensemble information. Neighborhood probabilities translate into the ensemble agreement scale, showing how well the different ensemble members pick up on the potential for localized hazardous weather events. We won't go into too much detail because Comet Foundations and Probabilistic Forecasting Modules Unit 10, 11, 12, and 13 cover this exceptionally well. If you don't have a neighborhood probability search area set, this means that you are looking at point probabilities. A radius larger than zero is considered a neighborhood probability. Neighborhood probabilities are useful when looking at features that are localized and displaced between ensemble members. This comes in handy for small-scale features like precipitation because where ensemble members or ensemble systems have the placement of thunderstorms between them or between the members is not exact. It also helps in areas of large terrain differences. Neighborhood probabilities allow you to assess the chance of the event occurring within that specific radius. Within DESI and using the HREF data, you have the ability to change the neighborhood probability radius between 0, 10, 25, and 50 kilometer radii. At the same time, you have the ability to set the time range and the amount of precipitation to look at. For the following examples, we will look at six hour precipitation graphic and amounts greater than or equal to one quarter of an inch. With zero search radius, you can see some potential tracks of precipitation across Iowa and portions of Wisconsin and Minnesota. As we increase the radius to 10 kilometers, you see that there are still some hints of individual paths for precipitation, but some of the detail is getting smoothed. One of the benefits and pitfalls of increasing the radius for neighborhood probabilities. There's a better sense of where one quarter of an inch or more of precipitation could fall, taking into account that there will be variability on the tracks of this band. Increasing the radius to 25 kilometers, you start to lose the detail but are starting to see higher probabilities come into play in some parts of the map, like over south central Iowa and portions of Ohio. This could be from the individual bands of precipitation being picked up within the larger search radius. Lastly, we look at 50 kilometers. Much of the detail is lost across Wisconsin and Illinois, and we're starting to see some artifacts from the neighborhood probabilities in southwestern Iowa and Ohio. Partners sometimes need answers to questions involving an overlap of weather parameters. How some joint probabilities are calculated is covered in the Comet program's excellent Foundations in Probabilistic Forecasting, Units 16 and 17 if you need a refresher. The latest version of DESI makes it quite easy to view or create joint probabilities. Some joint probabilities are already set up in DESI, for instance, fire weather parameters and convective parameters. However, you can create your own joint probabilities by selecting any field with a prob in it as a start. From there, you can look at just that field or add two or three other fields to best create a joint probability that meets your needs for decision support services. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to create joint probabilities in the WhatsApp viewer.